being in a band is not about music, it's not about lyrics, it's not about melody, it's not about musicianship. It's about the vibe of a, of a band, you know? It's like you can have all that shit, but it doesn't, doesn't count for anything at the end of the day. These guys come from the middle of butt nowhere. 250,000 albums sold. You're talking in today's market. This is the uh, documentary crew I was telling you about. Uh, they're sort of going to be following me around, uh, uh, you know, us around. You're following all of us around, or you're just following Rockstar Kennedy here. The guys are not that easy, you know, but it's a rock band. They had Grammy nods, Grammys, baby. I don't want to say reinventing the wheel, but to be honest, I'm, I'm reinventing the wheel. He's the face of the band, but beyond that, he doesn't really bring a lot to the table. The Jonas Brothers backwards is better than this shit. I think they have a good mixture together on stage. The only 90 minutes a day it works in between them. Because it gets boring, man. All we do is play a show at night, come back, have a few drinks, sleep, drive, play another show. Same crap every day, it's just mundane. This was a band that represented the hopes and dreams of an entire generation of New Zealand youths. I'm not musically trained, but I just know it. Do you think uh, Beethoven went to music college? I mean, maybe you did, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't there. More and more, it just becomes a vehicle for Tyson's ego. It's, it's like, we don't exist and it's just Tyson. Make it happen with or without these guys, to be honest. New Zealand rock sensation and international recording artist Stereogram have been in a grave accident outside of Frankfurt, Germany. I mean, come on, a basic film. There is something wrong, I think. Yeah, it must be a kind of sabotage. Stereogram was the greatest band that never was.